ना हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू गेट वाला सो वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग आवर लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन थीरी ऑफ कॉम्पिटेशन सब्जेक्ट सो इन आवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव स्टडीड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ डिटर्मिस्टिक फाइनेट ऑटोमेटो सो टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज नॉन डिटर्मिस्टिक फाइनेट ऑटोमेटो एन एफ ए इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म विल कॉल इट एज एन एफ ए सो बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दैट लेट मी रीकैप वॉट आर द टॉपिक्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड स्टिल नो uh before that student please inform me is it my audio video clear if anybody facing any difficulty please inform me right so these are the topics we have com uh, completed till now dfa to language if dfa is given detection of the language if dfa is given the detection of language from given options we are not uh, detecting language directly we are detecting we are identifying the right option the, the way of solving gate questions from this topic that is what the first important topic for gate point of view that is we have studied already and second one is dfa construction to construct dfa for every language dfa not possible for some language dfa possible for some language not possible for what type of language not possible those things we have studied so in uh, lecture number 3 lecture number 4 also we studied these two so in yesterday class also we have studied something there are some languages when our common difference not exist dfa not possible common difference not there dfa not possible one more thing is comparison comparison present in the language then also dfa not possible so these two topics comes under this and then dfa construction construction of the dfa construction of deterministic finite automata so In yesterday's session, we have taken some languages, oh, different uh, types of languages. I changed conditions. Sometimes n value greater than or equal to zero, n value greater than or equal to one, like this. A power n, b power m languages. For those, we constructed. Number of DFA construction is unlimited topic. We can construct any number of DFAs for given languages. So whenever uh, for some type of questions, we will uh, construct DFAs again. But anyhow, in today's session. we'll start uh, nfa concept non deterministic finite automata what is nfa how it looks like so we are focusing on those type of concepts in today's session right let us start if anybody having doubts regarding this first watch recording if you have any doubts related to these topics whatever we completed till now you can ask me those by putting your uh, questions in chat box right so forget about this question minimal dfa states and all this so just we have to focus is it dfa what is dfa from every state every symbol from every state every symbol transition exists that is called as dfa but if the dfa if deterministic automata any automata is violating the definition of the dfa that is not a deterministic automata that is not a dfa comes under nfa so this is clearly nfa the reason for why this is nfa is from given state given symbol exactly one transition that is dfa but what happens here from state a on symbol b multiple transitions given state given symbol multiple transitions exist whenever multiple transitions that is not comes under dfa see here 
and and one more uh, reason is no transitions that is not allowed in dfa in dfa from given state given symbol the definition of deterministic finite automata saying from the given dfa from every state on every symbol transition exist missing transitions not a dfa multiple transitions not a dfa those situations comes under nfa non deterministic finite automata nfa right here nfas are two variations are there in nfa there are two variations one is nfa one more is epsilon nfa epsilon nfa what is epsilon nfa it is looks like this epsilon transitions are there these are the epsilon nfa non deterministic automata so non deterministic automata is very easy to recognize we will not spend that much time what is non deterministic automata because if you are familiar with dfa definition any automata any finite automata it is not comes under dfa that is nfa not deterministic that is non deterministic automata here normal multiple transitions zero transitions is one type of nfa epsilon transitions is other type of nfa right now in our uh, previous classes we studied expressive power of so we have like this epsilon nfa epsilon nfa nfa dfa we have these three things so whenever we have three things in finite automata expressive powers are same whenever expressive powers are same conversions are possible here that's why we can convert epsilon nfa to nfa we can construct nfa to dfa for a given epsilon nfa nfa can be constructed for a given nfa dfa can be constructed so gate point of view regarding gate point of view construction of nfa is not the important one we don't focus much on nfa constructions because that is very easy conversion part is very important construction also we'll see sometime it's a easy part first we'll see the conversion part how the conversion is happening and then we see small construction is just a five or ten minutes topic so in today's session we are mainly focusing on conversion part first we'll see if epsilon nfas are convert uh, given how it will be converted into nfa nfa without epsilon whenever i say nfa just normal nfa nfa without epsilon and epsilon nfa is nfa having epsilon transitions non deterministic means exact transitions not there one state one symbol exact transitions not there zero number of transitions allowed multiple transitions allowed this is so let us focus on conversion how can we convert given epsilon nfa into nfa then nfa into dfa those concepts we are focusing on our today's session right so our first topic is epsilon nfa to nfa conversion of epsilon nfa into nfa if any epsilon nfa is given how to construct so i'll explain this the help of some example this is one of the epsilon nfa three transitions epsilon nfa having three transitions then we have to construct an equivalent nfa for this non deterministic finite automata construct an equivalent nfa for the following epsilon nfa this is the epsilon nfa given we are going to construct an equivalent nfa for this right what is the procedure how many states epsilon nfa having three states how many states in nfa so for that 
the number of states are same we have to take the same number of states so states will be as it is number of states same and initial state also same we will get same same number of states so all these steps let me write in this our previous slide first point is in this conversion process number of states same initial state also same that is not required right next one final states number of final states how many final states in epsilon nfa number of final states in epsilon nfa is one but number of final states may increases that is the second point that we have to detect properly so let us write this point also number of final states may increase number of states same number of final states may increase then how to identify final states i am saying final states may increase may get same sometimes will get same or sometimes again more also then how to identify the final states oh uh, this is uh, now onwards somewhat confusion starts listen carefully <coughs> start from the initial state the way of identifying final state is from any state from any state by reading only epsilon by reading only epsilon if final state is reachable that state also becomes final from any state with only epsilon transitions in this epsilon nfa from any state with only epsilon transition final state is reachable that state becomes final in nfa so now what happens <coughs> take it out q0 is final or not from q0 with only epsilon final is reachable reachable yes this is final from q0 with only epsilon final is reachable so they make this as final like this for every state we have to test now q1 is non final here but it may become final in nfa generally in epsilon nfa it is non final here also in q0 it is non final in epsilon nfa but it become final in nfa like this number of final states may increase whether every state is final or not for every state final possibility there or not there we have to test so what happens for q1 how to check q1 is final or not from q1 with only epsilon final is reachable or not from q1 with only epsilon final is reachable yes then make this state as final so q1 also final what about q2 here already final all final states take it as it is from q0 on only epsilon final is reachable so q0 is final from q1 on only epsilon final is reachable q1 is final all given final states take as it is that's why the number of final state in epsilon nfa is 1 even though it is 1 but number of final states may increase as in nfa that's why number of final state is 3 here number of final states is 3 understood number of final states in epsilon nfa even though one number of final states in nfa is three final states right <coughs> now let us go for the transitions 
what is here number of states are over number of final states may increase this third one number of transitions number of transitions may increase transitions also may increase here so now states are same final states may increase transitions also increases so so given transitions there is no chance of getting as it is so we have to see how the transitions looks like this is uh, somewhat confusing listen carefully you can pause the video any number of times you can watch first <coughs> So, this is a way of identifying transition. What is the input alphabet here? Number of symbols in this aut automata is 0, 1, 2. Zero, one, two. So, for every state 0, 1, 2 possibilities we are checking here. Right. Start from Q0. Uh, first take the given transitions as it is take given transitions as it is and then take epsilon possibilities. See whatever the method I am explaining this is the easiest method. If you see the same thing in books so big lengthy theorem is written because we are preparing for gate exam. We are preparing for gate if you go for those many lengthy methods that is very difficult. It takes lot of time that is why just remember this practice for two or three examples that will be easy. You do not get much time. Right. So, what happens? Start from Q0. Take given transitions. So, 0 like this it is given. Take as it is. Then, 0 followed by epsilon possibilities. See here, 0 epsilon is 0, 1 epsilon is 1, epsilon, epsilon is also epsilon. Epsilon is identity element here. Okay. So, what happens? With all epsilon possibilities, 0 with epsilon possibilities we are observing. So, 0 epsilon is 0. So, the meaning is Q0 on 0, I may, I can able to reach Q0. Q0 on 0, I can able to reach Q0 at the same time. Now the question is Q0 state, Q0 state on 0 and only 0, can we reach Q1? That is possible. That is 0 followed by epsilon. That is also 0. That means Q0 state on only 0 symbol, Q1 is reachable. Show the transition. Because now we are removing epsilon, we are removing epsilon transitions. So, with epsilon all possibilities we have to add, that is what we are doing here. Right. In a similar way, Q0 on 0, only 0, can we reach Q2? Is it possible? From Q0 state, state Q0 on only 0, is it Q2 possible? Yes, from Q0 and only 0, like this. 0 epsilon epsilon. See this path? 0 followed by epsilon followed by epsilon. 0 followed by epsilon followed by epsilon. What happens? That is also 0. That means Q0 on only 0, we can reach Q2. On only 0, we can reach Q2. See this. Now tell me in epsilon NFA from Q0 state on only 0. Q0 state on only 0. How many transitions possible? 3 transitions possible. But epsilon NFA shown only one thing. So, indirect transitions whatever exist in epsilon NFA, those things we are expanding. That is all. Because we are removing epsilon now. That is why all possible transitions we are adding. 
nothing nothing more than that right so q0 on 0 we can reach q0 state we can reach q1 state we can reach q2 state all those are directly not visible indirectly there that's why we are making it direct visibility of those that is what this concept that is the way we will convert epsilon nfa into nfa right so q0 state on zero our input alphabet is 0 1 2 input alphabet is 0 1 2 so q0 on 0 is over now 1 from q0 state on 1 is it any transition possible I am asking from epsilon and fa. It is very easy. Now it is very advantage for you. If it is offline class, no student generally gets difficulty. For you, it is very easy because it is recording. So it is a live uh, YouTube class. Uh, wherever you are getting uh, confusing, go back and then pause for some time. Uh, then uh, understand whatever I am explaining here. Actually, Q0 on 1, directly there is no transition. I am analyzing for state Q0 on symbol 1. Actually not there, directly not there, but indirectly there. What is that? See this, epsilon 1. What is epsilon 1? Epsilon 1 also 1 only. That means, from Q0 state, from Q0 state on symbol 1, we can reach q1 that means q0 state one transition exists but it is not visible in this automata it is not visible here that is the only difference so what we have to do on one provide transition so q0 on one going to q1 if you are feeling it is difficult you can give one more uh, this way not, not required so, Q0 state on 1 transition exists that is going to Q1, right. Now, Q0 on 1, any other transition also exists? Any other transition exists on 1? See here, Q0 on 1, epsilon 1, epsilon. Epsilon 1, epsilon, 1 reading only one time. So, this is also clearly one only. So, Q0 on 1, we can reach Q2. Q0 on 1, we can reach Q2. What is the meaning of this one? From state Q0 on symbol 1, state Q0 on symbol 1, how many transitions possible? Two transitions possible state q0 on 1 two transitions possible exist but they are not visible in epsilon nfa because of this epsilon nature that is the difference right so q0 on 1 two transition those things now the question is symbol 2 on symbol 2 we'll analyze q0 on 2 any tra transition first you verify for direct transition Directly transition is not there. Q0 on 2. Directly transition is not there. Is there anything indirectly? Let us see. From Q0 with any number of epsilon possibilities. With only symbol 2. Any state is reachable or not. Though that one we have to see. What happens? Q0. Epsilon. Again epsilon followed by 2. Epsilon, epsilon 2 is 2. So, Q0 on 2, Q2 is reachable. State Q0 on 2, Q2 state is reachable. That means, one transition exists. Q0 on 2 symbol, transition exists. That is, reachable state is Q2. Show that. Directly in epsilon NFA, Q0 state on 2, there is no transition is visible because of epsilons whenever epsilons are there so many transitions possible but they are not visible so we have to make them visible by removing epsilons that is what nfa concept
Understood? So, till now, we verified all the possible transitions for Q0 state. For Q0, whatever the possible transitions are there, those things we verified. Then, come for Q1. Q1. Hmm. Q1 on here, from Q1, from Q1 on epsilon, any transition possible, uh, sorry, Q1, Q1 state on 0, Q1 state on 0, any transition possible, oh, do not go this way, there is an arrow here like this. Q1 on 0, like this not possible, this way if we observe, here from here onwards, no transitions. So, Q1 on 0, there is no transition exist. State Q1 on 0, there is no transition exist. Right. What about Q1 on 1? Q1 on 1, direct transition, that is 1. direct transition 1, then 1 followed by epsilon. Just a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Hmm, right. So, Q1 on 1 here, direct transition. Direct transition and then indirect transitions 1 followed by epsilon that is also 1. So, there are Q1 state on 1, 2 transitions possible, 2 transitions possible, direct transition and 1 followed by epsilon indirect transition. So, Q1 state on 1, 2 transitions, but uh, here only 1 is visible, indirect one not visible. So, we are removing epsilon. So, we have to take multiple transition, right. Q1 straight on 2, directly not there, but epsilon followed by 2, this is a valid transition, so on 2. Q1 on 2, directly not there, indirectly one transition is possible, like this. So, Q, uh, Q1 straight all possibilities are over. So, actually, if you observe the given automata, Q1 straight on 1, Q1 straight on 1, direct transition is only one, direct transition is only one is given, but how many three transitions possible with all possible uh, with all symbols, three transitions, one, two, three transitions possible, which are not visible because of this epsilon. So, we are making it visible, that is the only difference here. Then Q2 on 0, not there, we cannot take any epsilon possibility because of this arrows like this. Q2 on 0, no transition, on 1, no transition, on 2, direct 1, so as it is. So, this is the way. See, how many, here in uh, epsilon in FA, 1, 2, 3, 3 symbol transitions, 2 epsilon transitions, total 5 transitions are given. But while converting it into NFA, while converting it into NFA, 
one two three six nine ten transitions so many transitions are there they are not visible not visible because of epsilon possibility epsilon possibility whenever epsilons are there even though so many transitions are possible they are not visible because of this epsilon right so anybody having any doubts just let me repeat these steps once again if you are whenever you are converting whenever you are converting epsilon nfa into nfa first number of states number of states should be same number of states same number of final states may increase number of transitions also may increase this one easy process so for this we will do so many whenever we are practicing this from book any standard book like Ullman or any standard book there is a some theorem is there so based on that theorem if you want to solve it takes lot of time but this procedure whatever is there it is it is taking less time only if you practice for uh, three or four examples this will not take much time because we have to solve questions in the gate again we have to convert this nfa into dfa one more thing is there so i think there is a there is a question in uh, gate also this year gate also of uh, this from nfa concepts it's very easy don't worry All right not of same there are so many concepts in nfa after completion of all this you can able to solve uh, gate questions now we are just understanding the way of uh, solving conversions way of solving questions of basic nature first we we'll learn about conversion then we go for solving questions let us go for one more problem Okay, this is easy, better. I think this is better. Construct an equivalent NFA for the following epsilon NFA. This is a epsilon NFA given. right uh, so first uh, we have to construct nfa for that number of states same if anybody having any confusion you can check with this number of states same take same number of states I am taking state C here, initial state is also same. So number of state same and initial state also same, initial is same that is why no need to mention that separately, right. Then what is the next one, number of final states, we have to decide about final states, we have to decide about, so in this conversion process main thing is we need to decide about final states, we need to decide about transitions. right final states uh, on what way we can uh, conclude final states here 
from any from any state just by reading epsilon final is reachable from any state just by reading epsilon final is reachable that state becomes final in our nfa so in epsilon nfa from any state just only by epsilon final is reachable now let us observe from state a with only epsilon is it final is reachable state a with only epsilon final is reachable yes this path epsilon epsilon is also epsilon so a becomes final state a becomes final right in a similar way can we make state b as final state b as final from state b with only epsilon final is reachable so b is also final d given state as it is final now the question is can we make state c as final state c as final observe here from state c with only epsilon final is reachable from state c with only epsilon final is reachable no in the middle one is there symbol one that is why we cannot make state c as final c is non final state so in this automata while converting this con uh, epsilon nfa to nfa number of final states are three total number of states are 4 number of final states are 3 so there is no guarantee like previous example there is no guarantee all states will be converted into oh, final states there is no guarantee states may increase sometimes same also no guarantee right so number of final states concept is also completed number of states completed number of final states completed then transitions transitions also may increases so understand transitions carefully to show transitions let me show some other uh, color right state what are the symbols here zero one zero one symbols input alphabet is zero one start from a state a on zero what are the possible transitions in the original one on zero it is going to a direct one a very good indirect state a on 0 only can we reach b state a on only 0 can we reach b yes zero epsilon that is also zero state a on only 0 we can reach b yes now state a on only 0 can we reach d 0 epsilon epsilon yes a on only 0 d is also reachable state a on only 0 can we reach c only 0 epsilon 0 0 So, state A on only 0, A is reachable, B is reachable, C is reachable, D is reachable. All states are reachable. So, state A on only 0, A is reachable, B is reachable, C is reachable, D is. So, actually in a given epsilon NFA, state A on 0, only one transition is given. But, uh, but while doing this conversion, state a on 0 four transitions possible four transitions possible right right uh, state a on 1 any transition possible state a on 1 directly not there indirect possibility check here like this in between 0 is there so a not possible a on 1 b not possible 
a on 1 c not possible a on 1 d possible epsilon epsilon 1 so this path epsilon epsilon 1 so on 1 d one transition a on 1 one transition so a all possibilities completed now come to the b it's very easy one and that too you have a recording possibility so you can watch any number of times otherwise if you want to use algorithm algorithm takes a lot of time right it's a easy process only mm. what about b b on 0 state b on 0 direct one c can we reach d no right b possibility is this much only mm. beyond zero can we reach d not possible on one can we reach d b on one yes epsilon one So, B state B on 0 direct transition epsilon possibility is not there state B on 1 this is reverse 1. So, epsilon 1 is like this indirect 1. So, B on 0 1 transition B on 1 1 transition come to the C. C on 0 there is no transition here outgoing edges C on 0 transition is not there C on 1 direct transition going to B ok. Any indirect transition? Yes, 1 epsilon. So, C on 1 we can reach D also. C on 1 transition D also possible. So, C on 1 multiple transitions here. State C on symbol 1 multiple transitions. Right. Now, come to the D d on 0 here epsilon possibilities are not there d on 0 no transition on 1 so this is the equivalent nfa for this epsilon nfa easy one All of you just to try to understand this. Practice by your own. First, what you will do is take this example, take this one as it is, try to construct by your own, try to construct by your own, and then whatever the answer you are getting, match that answer with my answer. So, in any transition wherever you are feeling difficulty just uh, in tomorrow's session you can ask me in the chart here ok. How it looks like easy one or difficult one? Just wait a minute. Let us go for one more example that is actually given in one year gate paper. This one construct an equivalent NFA for the following epsilon NFA. We need to construct NFA for this epsilon NFA. So, given epsilon and fa we have to construct an equivalent nfa for this number of states same that is a common thing so let us design number of states here the major thing where you have to where you have to 
design carefully is first one number of final states second one is number of transitions these two are the places where you have to design your automata carefully So number of states same, initial state also same, right, then final states, can you guess how many final states, how many final states required for this, can we, what is the final state concept, so these are the epsilons here, this is one epsilon, from any state with only epsilon, from any state with only epsilon without any other possibilities from any state with only epsilon final state is reachable that state becomes final so from q0 state the edges are clearly this way from q0 state with only epsilon can we reach final state there is a transition a is there that is why q0 is non-final we cannot make q0 as final the state q0 is clearly a non-final state q1 final state given final states we have to take as it is so this will be as it is now come to q2 non-final state uh, from that non-final state with only epsilon can we reach final? We cannot take this path. It is a reverse edge. So, Q2 state on only epsilon, can we reach final? This is the only way we can come. But here in this path, symbol A is there. That is why from Q2 with only epsilon, we are unable to reach the state Q1. From Q2 with only epsilon, we are unable to reach the state Q1. So, Q2 also non-final state, we cannot take Q2 as a final, am I right? So, Q2 state Q2 from state q2 with only epsilon we are unable to reach q1 that is why q2 is non-final hence number of final states are only one so in epsilon nfa also one in nfa also one that is why while doing this conversion number of final states may increases sometimes increases sometimes it can be same remains same so do not think always increases that is not the may increases means sometimes increases sometimes remains same right so final state concept is clear there is only one final state here and here okay now transitions this example is very very important in order to understand transitions that too this is given in gate paper means gate paper questions are great questions so solve them carefully right what about uh, state what is the symbol here what is the input alphabet of this the input alphabet number of input symbols for this will be only a <coughs> only a uh, so from every state with only symbol a if you able to answer number of transitions then our task is over right so q0 on a let us start from q0 q0 on a direct transitions are there so q0 on a we can reach to q1 mm. now the question is indirect transitions from state q0 on a can we reach q2 that is possible q0 on a 
a epsilon a epsilon that is also a so we can reach q2 directly so q0 on straight a qt is also reachable uh, so q0 on a q1 is reachable q2 is reachable uh, any other tra transitions with only epsilon read symbol a one time epsilon any number of times that is not a problem here see this path q0 start from here a then epsilon then one more epsilon what is a epsilon epsilon that is also a that means it is looking like a self loop from q0 if you start this path just by symbol a we are reaching to again q0 that means self loop is also possible self loop possible so actually q0 state on a actual transitions are given transition in epsilon and phase 1 but if you observe carefully three transitions possible in the conversion process q0 on a three transitions possible right similarly in the similar way check for q1 q1 what about q1 q1 on a directly not there q1 on a directly not given then we have to check for indirect let us design once again indirect so q1 one possibility is start from here epsilon epsilon a epsilon epsilon a is a so q1 on a we are reaching q1 that is self loop self loop start from here start from here epsilon epsilon a right any other possibility see this path epsilon epsilon a epsilon 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 a epsilon a is reading only one time this is also equal to epsilon so q1 on a only symbol a q2 also possible so epsilon ep epsilon epsilon a epsilon right yeah, any other possibility see here epsilon epsilon a epsilon epsilon so it is like this epsilon epsilon a epsilon epsilon so with this where we are going so epsilon epsilon a epsilon epsilon so q0 so q0 also possible so q1 state q1 state q1 on a state q1 on a here there is no transition see the beauty here q1 on a there is no transition but directly not given indirectly three transitions possible it can go to self loop it can go to q2 it can go to q0 as well so even though three number of transitions possible they are not visible because of epsilon that is a bigger problem with epsilon here if epsilon present in the automata automata is optimized one seems very easy simple but so many hidden transitions are there if you don't know DFA construction becomes difficult for us because we have to convert this again into DFA. DFA is our main concept. To convert into DFA, 
then uh, hidden transition should not present. We have to make it visible. That procedure we are doing. That is why Q1 on A, three transitions are there. They are not visible because of epsilon. That is why we are making it right. Similarly, we check for Q2. Q2. No direct transitions. Okay. There are no direct transitions here. Okay, direct transitions not there. Indirect transition can be possible. Those things we have to verify. Hmm. What any possibility? Q2 on epsilon A. What is epsilon A? That is A. So we can reach Q1. Epsilon A, Q1. Right. Uh, what about next one? Epsilon A, Epsilon. Epsilon A, Epsilon means self loop. Self loop. Hmm. Any other possibility? Q2 on Q, so Q, Q2 state on A, self loop possible, Q1 possible. Any Q0 possibility? For that, let us check. Epsilon. A, epsilon, 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 A, epsilon, epsilon, that is also A, reading A one time, so reading A one time is equal to A transition only, that is why see what happens, Q2 on epsilon, epsilon, A one time, then epsilon, epsilon, so Q2 state, on A, Q0 also possible. So, this is the automaton way of construction. It is very easy if you practice, very easy. So, take direct transition, all epsilon possibilities, keep on add them. So, look at here Q0 on A, only one transition is given direct transition, but three transitions possible, Q0 self loop, Q1, Q2. Similarly, Q1 state, here no transition on symbol A, on symbol A there is no transition, but three transitions possible. So, Q1 on A, Q1, Q2, Q, Q0, three transitions, Q2 state, Q2 directly not there so indirect indirectly how many so self loop q2 q1 q0 three transitions so total nine number of transitions are there here so even though nine number of transitions are there all these transitions not visible in this here in only three transitions in epsilon fa they have shown only three transitions but actually nine transitions possible so, this is the example, this question as it is came in the gate paper, but not like this. So, this question is, the, this automata as it is I have taken from gate paper, question is something different. So, after this they will ask about languages, they will ask about DFA, they will ask about minimization, so many concepts are there. So, this is one of the concept of epsilon NFA. Okay, right. So, what you do for this problem is same thing, first take this example, take this example, practice first practice by your own, practice by your own, if you are not getting, uh, mostly you will get some answer, check with my answer, wherever you are doing mistake, just uh, pause the, our video, then you verify your answer, still if any doubts, in the next class, you can post the doubt in chat box. Okay, this is one of the concept related to epsilon NFA, very very important because in the coming classes we use this in regular expressions, in grammars, especially in grammar topic, regular expression topic. There are so many things in those. We whenever epsilon NFA is there, 
See the problem with non-deterministic natures, NFA. The problem with non-deterministic natures is non-deterministic natures not well suitable for reality. If you want to convert these into programs, non-deterministic natures are not suitable. The complexity, time complexity of these programs uh, exponential. It takes a lot of time for bigger pro uh, automata. It takes a lot of time. That's why whenever any automata is there, our intention is try to convert them into deterministic one. But whenever these epsilon NFS are there, converting directly into DFS, taking time taking one. So, first we will do some internal procedure in this way. Okay. Right. Easy. It is not any difficult concept. Okay, students. That is all about today's session. Thank you. See you in tomorrow's session. Uh, again, we have session on Monday, same time. Okay. Thank you. See you in the next session. Bye bye.